<laughs> okay, okay, stop, cut, no, we're not doing this. Yo, now recording, dog. Are you ready for some Christmas up in your ears? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, actually, I can hear you very well. Okay, cool. It's probably be our best episode yet because my phone took a massive shit. <laughs> Dang, you should probably, like, always do this. Yeah, I'll have to ask my boy if I can just live in his house and use his computer whenever I want. I'm sure he won't have a problem with that. I mean, it is me. I'm pretty great. Yeah, you are pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so we're ready to bless you with some Christmas miracles. Mm. Um. So, yeah, today's episode is not going to be pushed out on a Wednesday. Like our episodes are normally pushed out. This will come out on Christmas or on Krimbis or yeah. Um, yeah. So I guess like to start the Chrissy Moss mood, we could start talking about maybe some Christmas traditions that maybe we do or don't do. Yeah. Cause there's a lot. I I've, I've noticed like just with, other holidays in general, Thanksgiving, um, Halloween, all that stuff. Everyone has different traditions. And I'm like, I am not sure what mine are. <laughs> That's true. I'm like kind of in the same way, but maybe some things we did for Christmas will be different. Yeah. Uh, there were a couple times I was overseas and, uh, during Christmas. And it was interesting to see how... Japan celebrated Christmas. I would go into like all the stuff that I know about, like the mochi and the dai dai and all that stuff, but I, I can't remember. It was cool though. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's cool. <laughs> they make uh, it has something to do with their Shinto beliefs, but it's kind of like here in the U.S. where like you know I think is Christmas like a Christian thing. Or Catholic thing or something? Both. Okay, yeah. Um, I think it's kind of like that where like people celebrate it and they're just like, yeah. I mean, I don't go to church. <laughs> like, like everyone, it's a holiday during the winter. Yeah, it's almost like we're trying to fight seasonal depression or something. Um, yeah. So, um, I'm pretty sure I remember as a kid experiencing Christmas. Just kind of like Christmas Eve was big for us. We'd go to we'd go to Nana and Grandpa's, and our grandmother would make this punch that was huh. filled with type two diabetes, um, <laughs> pineapple <laughs> pineapple juice, ginger ale, a whole bunch of other stuff, um, which is pretty cool. Um, we just get on that and just like run around the house like crazy people. Um, our family's also in a. Also, my neighbors are throwing their traditional bricks for Christmas right now. So if you hear any thudding, it's probably them. Those well, cheeky not, little fuckers. Um, I'm not picking it up on my line. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we're good. Um, yeah, so we used to run around the house. And one of our traditions is that we could open one present the night before. Oh, it's like a little appetizer. Hell yeah. The shit. But as I've gotten older and I don't get as many presents, they're like, open one on Christmas Eve. I'm like, I only have one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's hard. It's hard to buy presents for adults. Like, I see it. I want it. Oh, yeah. I like it. I got oh, it. Dude, I'm impossible to buy Christmas presents for. Everyone's like, what do you want? And I'm like, ooh, I, mm, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot I want, but I don't want to make other people buy it. That's the thing for me. Yeah, I don't know. It's something strange about it. It is weird. Right? I do like the idea of, I know for a while, our family, we, we never really had Christmas lists. Like, when we were super young, maybe. Like, because that's something we did, like, in school. Yeah. But I, I don't, 
I don't recall making a Christmas list too many times. I think I did it once and got absolutely nothing on it, which is probably my fault. But like at that point, I was just like, well, I'm not doing it. I, yeah, it was one of those things where I didn't really care what was on my list or not. I knew it was getting presents. So it was just like, yeah. as a kid, it was just like the idea of getting a present. Same. I just liked getting something that was meant for me because growing up with a lot of other siblings, which we're, we're not that many, but we're kind of assholes. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's toys was everybody's toys it's kind true. of thing. It was just kind of nice to know that, that it was meant for me for a little bit. Same. Until I, it wasn't. I feel the same way. That's why making the list was like this weird thing. Like I would overthink it and be like, I want a chainsaw and a rocket. And you know, I'm like, of course I'm not going to get that. <laughs> I just like the idea of people being like, Hey, I saw this and I thought of you. Hell yeah. like, Aw. And now it depends on what it is. If they, you know, give you some like, you know, preparation age. And like I saw yeah. this and I thought of you little, Hey, we're a bitch. Yeah. You know, I've had a lot of people get me like soap and deodorant and I'm always like, is this like a jab or is uh, this kinda, a gift? It's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, I take that a little differently because I always need those things. And if I don't have to run to the store to get it, then I'm like, ah, oh, sick, dog. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I love it and I use it. But, like, <laughs> but still, the back of your head, you're like, do I smell? Do I smell bad? <laughs> I had friends, and it was interesting, like in high school, I had friends uh, growing up where they had a list and they got everything on their list. Surprise, surprise. Why do you wrap it then? Yeah. They literally, there was nothing on their, their list, like, untouched. And that's their tradition, like, whatever. But, like, why wrap it? Yeah. Maybe I'm a lazy piece of shit. Cause I wrap everything in newspaper because wrapping paper is expensive as hell. And if you're going to, for me, if I was going to do legit wrapping paper, I would design my own and print it. And that's pricey as fuck. And I just, I don't know if I would do that. So I just use newspaper because you've got all these companies out there just like constantly printing paper, putting it in my mailbox for free. At least save some fucking trees or something. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, you remember we had neighbors that gave me a super cool board game on my birthday, but it was wrapped in a towel and they were like, give us the towel back. No. Dude, it was awesome. What? <laughs> I got mousetrap for Christmas, or not Christmas, my birthday. Same difference, really. Um, no. Same significance to the world. I don't um, think so. <laughs> <okay>. uh, <laughs> Your value is misplaced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Wow. Well, Love um, you. Um, basically, uh, it was my birthday. I think I was like first grade-ish or something. And yeah, like our neighbors from across the way that I think my sister's babysat. Uh, there was a girl my age who I had a crush on. Oh, that I was wondering. I, I was not pulling that like yeah. out of my memory banks. I was like, who the fuck is he talking about? Yeah, they had mousetrap. And it was a bitchin' game. It was amazing. But like, I'm pretty sure we used to just make the old dude fall a bunch. Yes. Right? There was like a dude. I don't yeah, know, it just thing. became like, how many ways can we use the plastic pieces to kill the old man? Yeah. But still, it was great. And it was wrapped in a towel, and I loved it. Wrapped in a towel. Hey, oh, can we have the back? Amazing. Um, what I do think is interesting and is going to make me hella ungrateful is when someone buys you something that they like, and it's incredibly obvious. This is a bad example, but I had a boyfriend that was obsessed with Hatsune Miku, right? Okay. Like to the point of probably just putting it on a body pillow. Right. And as your brother, I know that you kind of, extremely don't like Hatsune Miku. Yeah. And I felt really bad because, like, some of the songs by, like, because for those of you who don't know, Hatsune Miku is just, like, a computer program that you can teach to sing, and um, it's got a couple other voices you can use, and they're called the Vocaloids. There were a couple songs I was like, yeah, I like that one. And I guess maybe they took that, but they, they gave me, like, a Hatsune Miku backpack and art and a whole bunch of stuff. And I was like, wow, I thank you. I appreciate that. But that I, uh, he ended up using the bag from what I remember. Yeah. It was one of those gifts that a lot of guys do. We, we think we're so smart. We're like, it's a gift for us or it's a gift for you, but it's actually a gift for themselves. I don't do it, but I see a lot of guys do it. Yeah, I, I, again, I don't want to sound like I'm like ungrateful, 
but it always seems like they take the low hanging fruit. Like bitches like chocolate, get that bitch in chocolate, right? It's and I like, don't yeah. actually I hate chocolate, but it's like suggested music by like YouTube. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where it's like, where like, thank you for thinking of me, but where on earth did you think that this was? Nah, this dude, was okay. It can get interesting, and and it's weird too, right? Because you kind of held to a standard. Because like you know. I would buy like a whole wardrobe of like dresses and nice clothes that were like always hit the nail on the head. Well, that's for... scary too, though. What if you got the wrong size and made them feel bad about themselves? Right, exactly. But I'm extremely creepy, so that wasn't an issue. Oh. But then I would get like, you know, chocolate covered crackers. And it was like, that's just a little weird, but okay. So then the next year, I was like, okay, cool. You know, I got the chocolate cover crackers this is how we're doing it and then i got a ps4 and i felt like a bag of shit <laughs> like i don't know <laughs> I, I actually am one of those people i'm not really keen on getting gifts i rather give gifts than get gifts because there's this like whole expectation for you to really like what they got you Same. and i don't get that hype about stuff yeah. like you could get me a piece of the set from lord of the rings and i'd be like dope dog that is so cool in the back of my head i'm doing backflips but like overtly like physically i'm like where am i gonna put it you know what i mean <laughs> i think it's because we're dead inside maybe maybe but maybe okay. we know that that's one more thing we'll have to move if we move or you know what i mean yeah. like i already clutter up my life with a bunch of stuff yeah that's true i do that too i think i think really for me it's just like I'm not the best at expressing myself and maybe i seem too dry or like in my mind while i'm screaming thank you thank you i forget to like Say it because I thought it so loud. No, <laughs> I don't know. you're stupid. I'm pretty stupid. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I think you're right. I don't know. There is pressure on receiving a gift. It's weird. Yeah, like there's pressure on receiving a gift, and then there's pressure on giving a gift. In my opinion, and I'm like super broke all the time. Yeah. So like, I'm just like. I, I, I know I know the hell away from Christmas. <laughs> I think I get worried about um, people holding things over my head. Like I gave you that gift. Yeah. Why didn't you come to my party? You know, I'm like ah. <laughs> like oh, gee, Mallory, you haven't made bread in a while. It's like someone gave you a ten speed bread maker. And yeah. No fucking. You're I've never made bread well. before in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a lot of that stuff going on. When really like. I just want to hang out and have a good time. Obviously we can't do that because of COVID right now, but yeah, you know, I just want to work and make my boss feel bad that I'm working. So they pay me double. <laughs> nice. Uh, I just want sleep. <laughs> if someone gives me a bottle of melatonin. That would be pretty sick too. Yeah. But um, yeah, so it'd be interesting um, to see how other people celebrate it. Cause normally Christmas Eve is huge. We all dress up nice. We get to open one gift and then, wake up early Christmas morning, try to get mom and dad up, even though they stayed up really late. Um, there were a lot of instances where we had to come up with ways of letting mom and dad know we were up without directly telling them we were up because they would just be like, we're not getting up. Uh, I believe it was one of our uh, siblings that said, who pantomimed going to the bathroom, basically, <laughs> just, to get, just to get mom and dad up. I remember dodging, going down the hallway just to sit on the couch and stare at the presents like Gollum. Yep. Uh, uh, we got a Red Rider BB gun once, just the same way that they got it in the Christmas story almost. What, what yep. was this? Yeah, our um, sister uh, uh, sarcastically said, you know, it's a Red Rider BB gun, and then ripped it right where it said Red Rider BB gun. It was like, woo! <laughs> um, we thought it was pretty funny, and then we never used it. Um, no, no, yeah, we took we, it out a couple times. Yeah, we took it out a lot. Dad was make he made sure we were very safe though, so we didn't get yeah. to use it as anywhere near as much as we wanted to. <laughs> we used it. Kids always want to use BB guns. Um, there was one year. One year we did actually have snow, and do you remember? I think uh, we had grandparents visiting us. But they, mom and dad had go, gone through the effort of throwing cookies on the roof. Like Santa was like, oh, fuck, get the fuck out of here. You know, uh, I think they said something about, like, Sierra, our, our doggo, scaring him. And he was like, oh, shit. And he was like, got the hell out of there. And we were like, wow. Now that I'm older, I'm like, I really appreciate that they went through that effort. 
Yeah. To convince me there's a magical man telling me that he's watching me. It's a metaphor for God, I guess. Uh, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand know. what's going on there. I'm not sure, to be honest. Or maybe it's the IRS. Be good. Right? You better be good. You better be good. Or what is that? You better not cry. You better not cry. Oh, you better watch out. Oh, that's what it is. Fuck. I had ramen noodles. Maybe the salt is just making my brain go. Yeah, <laughs> I'm jealous. I actually might have some noodles in the locker. Hmm. No. After this, I'm going to work and I'm totally going to raid the locker. Yeah, man. Um, how cold is it down there in Texas? It's uh, not that bad. We had some days where it got down to like 33, but right now it's pretty chill. Um, <laughs> got some rain coming though, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to get cold again. Nice. Yeah, I can feel it on my freaking head. Ooh. So we've got a little something, something prepared for y'all. Have you said your piece about pieces? No, actually, there's one presents? more thing. Okay, go we ahead. We had a weird Christmas Eve tradition where, like, one of the grandchildren, you know, us and our cousins, were, like, the chosen one to, like, VIP escort a little ceramic statue of baby jesus to the oh, yeah. nest thing in the nativity scene while everyone sung <laughs> yes that was some crazy that was like this ritual if you think i only it. remember doing that once or twice i was normally like fucking off in the toy room i didn't really care about that i was chosen once and that's like the I green velvet background thing that nana has in the yeah it's yeah, like yeah, yeah draped all over this like thin ass glass that could break it was pretty yeah, and like I think I'm like you, and I was just like fucking off in the toy room because the year they chose me, I was just like so bewildered, and I was like, "Wait, what? This is a thing?" And then they were like, "Of course, you know I'm all whacked out on that punch, Grandma." Kick a poi juice is what we called it, right? Yeah, I called it fucking ecstasy bliss, but you know. Yeah, the kids had a had a tendency of rubbing their nips a lot when they took it. Yeah, I remember I'd always stim out on the carpet and like talk to it and pet it. I feel like that was a way for Nana to just basically like get payback on her kids for giving her shit. It was like, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna spin your kids right the fuck up, and you gotta go home and tell them to go to bed so they can open their fucking gifts. <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, just alert. Sometimes on this podcast, we make jokes. <laughs> What? Sometimes. Sometimes. Um, oh, you time. know what? We used to play the Christmas ornament game. Oh. And we used to get in trouble for picking the firefighter Santa Claus because he basically looked like he was dancing on a pole. <laughs> and we thought that was fucking hilarious. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure we still get in trouble for picking it. Uh, well, how many how many assholes always pick like a garland or the tree itself? They oh, definitely. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, it was funny. I was on the phone with mom yesterday and she was telling me that someone was pulling some s smart shit like that because there's a second Christmas tree in the living room. It's like a little ceramic one. <laughs> and our younger, our youngest nephew was like, no, you can't do that. Yes. <laughs> and I was like, yes, <laughs> thank you. I, I, people get bored so they're like, oh, well, I'm going to, I'm going to be real cool and stump you. It's the ornament game. Right. Just think of an ornament. For real. And let me tell you, I could probably play that game over the fucking phone. Ornaments are different now. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, I have all of mine with me, but not on my tree. Um, our other siblings have all of theirs now. Yeah. So I kind of wish mine would just stay at the house because that's like their place, in my opinion. <laughs> you can say it. You don't want to fuck with trinkets. Well, no, because I do. I got way too many trinkets of my own. Uh, so I can't say that. That's not true. I got all these knickknacks and weird, pointless decorations. Knick knack, like, patty whack, give a dog a bone. It just it doesn't seem right to me. They would seem out of place, right? Like if you saw like a beautiful exotic animal and thought, "Ooh, I want to throw it in a turtle tank and, and stuff it under my desk for." You know, until it's dead. Like, it just, oh well, I mean, until it's dead. Yeah, that's dark. It doesn't seem as, I don't know. It, it, it's better in its natural. When you take a stone out of the water, yeah, and it dries, oh, it is no longer beautiful. That's a lot better than what I was saying. Yeah, <laughs> I'm better, it's, more better at word the stuff are than you. In their natural habitat, <laughs> instead of my cynical little swallery. Stupid slum. science can make me more smarter. <laughs> Stupid science. Bitch, and not make I'm more smart. <laughs> not make I'm more smarter. Um, 
Yeah, we do watch Muppet Christmas Carol, which is fantastic. I'm pretty sure that's like one of the only Christmas movies I watch like willingly. I really sure. don't like any other Christmas movie. I don't like Christmas Story. I watched that too many times. I've never watched Cars, Airplanes, Trucks, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, I don't care. Um, I don't like a lot of that stuff, really. I can't even think of like another one that I would actually willingly watch. There's one Christmas movie quite meaning. Which Jim Carrey's The Grinch. Oh yeah, his is good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's... there are parts of it though that I'm just like, I don't want to be watching this. Jam. Like unless Jim Carrey's on the screen, I'm like, I don't give a fuck about what's <laughs> going on. Yeah. I might need to get a hold of that and just like make an edit where I can just watch everything where he fucks everything up. Send it to me when you're done. I'll <laughs> totally watch that more. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else. I know one year we strung up popcorn and cranberries and we put them on the real trees and the birds were like, yes. That was great. Um, but we didn't do that too often. I do remember our old Christmas lights and having to check them every year when, to make sure they work. And Dad was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was always like, I ain't helping check lights. <laughs> I think that's why dogs saw Christmas lights being unraveled, they were just automatically like <laughs> Yeah. Because they just knew tempers would be high. I'm trying to think of other things. I remember one year I got, um, I wasn't big on Barbie dolls, but I got I was big on like animal figurines and stuff, so I got like a lot of horses, cheetahs, tigers, and stuff like that. That was like a big thing for me. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I got like um uh, Usually, I started to inherit, like, dad's trucks, but then I would get little airplanes for a while. But then for a while, I think I stopped making planes. So Are I you talking about ornaments? Yeah, ornaments. Yeah. I'm talking um, about toys in general. Oh, right, toys in general. I don't know if there was a theme other than the stockings being stuffed with those bell-shaped Nestle chocolates. that were. <gasps> oh, my God, amazing. I missed the fuck out of those. those the Butterfinger ones were my favorite. Butter. Oh, my God. Those were amazing. Holy and shit. Recently, I've been obsessed with candy canes, which is funny because I'm like basically a Grinch. But like after Christmas, I run to the store with just like $3 and I buy 25,000 candy canes and I just got pepper. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not a big fan of candy canes. I, I like when there's little bits um, in ice cream and stuff. I like butter mints. Those things are fucking delicious. Yeah. Oh my God. Ooh, mom. There's something we're forgetting. What? We, you know, when when mom would put on the Christmas radio station, like usually starting in like November thing. And then, yeah, and with then, uh, unfortunately, mom loves Christmas very much. She would put it on in August if she could. Yes. So we predict. Actually, I think sometimes she's been put on a Christmas CD. Yeah, dog. Unironically, that's red. But anyways, uh, you do you. No, yeah. So I think uh, we would get used to like the list and we would like start betting what song and who it's by would be next yeah there was one year that they played the john lennon song so this is christmas right is that the john lennon one that is i can't remember what beetle it is but i just know they played a lot and then i just picture a picture of them in a limousine being driven around i'm like huh yeah. And what have you done? Well, I haven't driven around a fucking limousine. You want to help me out? Yeah. Fucking damn, dog. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. That was fun. We would guess like seven songs ahead, like what the next ones would be. Well, there's only so many Christmas songs. And I'm going to be honest, there's some artists, not all. Like, I'm not even a big fan of Christmas music in general. Now, there was one year. Um, we listen to the Amy Grant's Christmas, and she's got a really good voice, and she's got some good ones. The Carpenter's Christmas is good, right. um, but like I really don't seek Christmas songs out. I hate Christmas songs so much. I yeah, there's some that I just like. I would rather pull my own eyes out. Yeah. I think. Well, like what, what's with the song that's like intentionally like super sad, like it'll water bend Christmas shoes. Bend. Oh God, yeah, that's it. My mom's dying of cancer. I'm gonna yeah. give her Christmas shoes, even though I can't afford. Like, the guy down? stands in line and just watches. And you're like, why don't you fucking yeah. help pay for the shoes, you bitch? Yeah, like, who sat down feverishly writing stanzas, <laughs> like, thinking about, oh, I'm going to murder someone's emotions tonight, you know, when they hear this song. <laughs> like, 
Like what the fuck? And then same someone, people who killed Mufasa, my dude. <laughs> someone made a fucking movie next. Oh really? Like, Off of Christmas shoes? I feel like if there are demons, it's probably a Hallmark movie. Yeah, something like that. If God damn. If there's demons that feed off people's emotions, it's we them. Got them. Yeah, they're called emotional them. vampires, I believe. Yeah, like <laughs> literally, they play that movie on their channel, and then they just like absorb the tears or something. Jesus Christ! Yeah. I hate it. Um. Yeah. I. Yeah, I don't really seek that stuff out, but I feel like when there are some artists, not all of them, but some artists, when like I made a Christmas album, I'm like, really? You had nothing? You nothing else? <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know. Like Josh Groban has a really good voice and I've, I've heard really good things about his albums, but again, I'm not a big fan of him. I don't listen to his stuff. Oh, there's there's that, so many Christmas songs. I don't really care. about. Is that the musician version of like a comedian in a movie where they play multiple characters? Like, is that when they're like, all right, I'm about to my music. crank out an uninspired Christmas album. Oh no, this guy's different. Uh, Josh Groban's the guy who sings, You Raise Me Up. Oh, yeah, he's. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, that's pretty much it. Yeah, you can like, definitely tell with the, like, I just got out of rehab. I'm of seeing Christmas music. Right. Uh, <laughs> so, speaking of Le Christmas music, we have got a treat for you guys. Um, We have taken some Christmas. Christmas uh, classics, and we have fucked them up. Uh, we put them through Google Translate a couple times, and we are about to embark on a journey of trying to figure out what the song is, and we're going to try our very best. We are tone deaf. Uh, we can't carry a beat, but we figured Christmas songs have the most strongest beats that everybody understands, like Jingle Bells. I mean, come on. Um... And we put them through a translator a couple times to see how messed up they'd get. Let's see what we got going on. Um, yeah. Hey, guys. We're going to take this break in the podcast to remind you that sometimes we speak harshly to each other and deny each other specific uh, reasonings and things. But it's it's all done in a place of fun and joking we don't really care about any of that stuff um and we just want to make sure that everybody stays safe this holiday season and uh you know keep up the good fight and keep quarantining oh, oh, oh. i i actually care but nobody cares what i think so it's totally fine just kidding <laughs> again we're, we're talking with each other bunch of ass. this is kind of like satire but just about our lives i guess hell yeah yeah enjoy christmas and or any of your holidays yeah stupid bitch stupid bitch Love you. Uh. <laughs> fuck what are you doing <laughs> Ooh, I hope you're ready for some Christmas magic. Some fucking 42360 Santa Claus no skull, baby. You know it. I'm going to stop doing my NPR voice and tone, and I'm going to get into the <laughs> Christmas spirit because we all know Good. how much I sing, and I love Christmas. Let's summon the holiday spirit, which happens to be a holly tree demon. Oh, yes. It has holly leaves for eyes, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe berries for the pupils, I guess. Something. Yeah. I think it's not doing too well, though. If I recall, it has gingerbread lungs. <laughs> now, does that keep it safe from getting COVID? I don't know. No. All right. All right, guys. So the way this is going to go is I'm going to read the title of the song that it should be. I'll tell you how we translated it. And again, we didn't. Okay. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we... <laughs> okay. I thought my shit broke for a second, but no. you were just going crazy. It's just me. Okay. Um, <laughs> we didn't... We aren't doing full songs. Some of the songs we did, you know, kind of, you know, uh, late or whatever. But we're going to try and read them because we don't, we're not really sure how we're going to sing some of these. 
uh, because some of the translations are <laughs> pretty fucked up. Uh, <laughs> so the first one I did. Let's just dive right in. Let's just dive. Okay, I'm pulling it up. Okay. Um, so the first one I did is Jingle Bells, and I translated it to Hungarian, then to Icelandic, then back to English, all right? And I did just the first stanza for Jingle Bell. So, bell, bell, it's jingling all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a bike, horse with open sled. Hey, bell, bell, it's jingling all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a bike with ho horse with open sled. <laughs> what the fuck? It's just, it's just close enough that you're like, yeah, that's, no, that's, that's not, that's not how that is. That's not that. I did the same thing. I kept my translations to low amounts. So it's like close, but just a little just off. Just a little off. Yeah. Okay. So the next one. <clears throat> okay. The next one is, oh, holy night. <laughs> Um, <laughs> translated from Irish to Japanese to German to English. From the holy night, the stars shine brightly. It is the night our beloved Savior was born. <laughs> the ship plunges the world yes. into sin and oh. error and pegs oh. it. <laughs> Oh, Until God. it is visible and the soul has the feeling that it is worth it. The thrill of hope, the world of ex I don't I lost like the song. Fuck. The world of exhausted joy. A bright new morning will rest for you. Kneel down. Oh, listen to the angel's voice. Right? The angel's voices. Okay, yeah. Oh, not, oh, the night of God. Oh, the night when Christ was born. <laughs> I'd have fucked that up, but man, that was the okay. Bro, I'm, the gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna revisit yeah, the tell, ship. Tell us about the ship again. The ship plunges the world into sin and error and pegs it. And pegs what it. the ever loving fuck could that mean if we reverse translate it? I want to know what. Which one messed it up? Was it German? I mean, I guess since it's not Latin based. I thought German. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. But what about maybe, maybe uh, Goelge did it Irish? Oh, yeah, maybe. But like, uh, does the ship have Vaseline? Like, <laughs> what is that? I just, ship. the ship plunges the world into sin and error like, and. What, like, language, what language we are this? summoning a dude at the end of all these songs we're going to summon a Christmas demon and it's going to be like that movie um, something about Halloween where if you're not festive enough on Halloween the little lollipop kid kills oh, you yeah trick or treat that yeah, that's what it's called Level. Okay. yeah we don't we don't we don't die fucked up <laughs> like what language is just like dirty sailor talk I guess. which one's the one that's like yo uh the world's gonna get pegged because we're we're um being plunged into sin and error it's supposed to be a holy night i don't know, right dude, like, until it is visible and it this is in, quotes, in quotes for some reason until it demon says <laughs> until it is visible and the soul has the feeling that it is worth it the thrill of hope the world of exhausted joy a bright new morning will rest for you Yo, are we like secretly like putting together like uh, the language of Babylon and learning like secret messages, like some demon shit? We're gonna punch in some code or whatever with these songs, and the earth is gonna crack in half <laughs> and just like spill out like a giant pinata full of uh, uh, bi bio uh, biogenetic material. So you mean like COVID-20? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay. Next song, I would give the, the um, Anna. Oh, yes. Okay. So I did um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and I switched it to Dutch, Indonesian, and then back to English. And I thought that was good enough. I didn't read mm. all of it. I, I did glance down at the first line, and I lost my mind, so... <clears throat> um yeah you'll you'll see where the first line do you need because... me to sing it or are you gonna no, sing, I'll, it? I'll sing it I'll sing come it. on let's go okay fine. <laughs> you know dasher and dancer and prancer and vixen comet and cupid donner and blitzen 
but do you still remember the most famous deer of all? <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer has a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw him, in fact, you would even say it shines all the other reindeer. <laughs> laugh and scream. All the other reindeer, I laugh and scream. Oh, yes. All of the other reindeer, I laugh and <laughs> scream. <laughs> they never let poor Rudolph in. Oh, my God. <laughs> Join the reindeer game. Then foggy Christmas Eve, Santa is coming to say Rudolph with your nose. With your clear nose. With your clear nose. Will you <laughs> lead my sled tonight? How the reindeer loves him when they scream for joy. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, he'll go into history. Yeah, so that's, that's so close to the original song, but just off. I, I, am, <laughs> I am kind of lingering on all the other reindeer I laugh and scream. <laughs> I, need, <laughs> I would like to understand that, where that went. Fucking, that went nuts. Yes, I, I liked it because it was just close enough, but boy, was it off in some interesting places. Damn. Yeah. Um, you want me to do the next one? Yeah. Okay. So we all like Blue Christmas, right? I like it. It's short. Um, and I decided to send this to Bangla, Italian, Korean, and then back to English. So here we go. I'm going to have a blue Christmas without you. I think I'll put a blue red decoration <laughs> on a green Christmas tree. <laughs> if you weren't with me, you wouldn't be the same person you like. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> and that's it? That's Oh, my God. I had to. Could you imagine? I'm sure Elvis actually sang that song, but like, you know, when he's doing drugs. <laughs> right. I wonder if that's how he originally wrote it. it we could have found something here. Uh, we could have stumbled onto something. It's true. Um, okay. So, uh, <laughs> so do you we, think I can do the next one? Yeah, do it. Of course. <laughs> okay. So the next one is Oh, Christmas Tree. And that normally goes. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Ha, na, 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 na. Right? Okay. I just want to make sure because the way some of these songs are reading are, are fucking me up, fam. Oh, no. I'm getting fucked. Dude, um, so this was Norwegian, Czech, something I can't pronounce, uh, Chinese, English. If anyone knows how to pronounce this, please send me an email or just hit me up on Instagram. Uh, it's X H O S A. Oh, I could probably Google that right now, but we're recording, so I'm not going to do that. Cool. Okay. <laughs> ready for a Christmas tree? Um, ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How beautiful are your branches? Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How beautiful are your branches? The branches in summer are very green, and the branches in winter are very strong. Oh, Danny Tree. Oh, Juliet. How beautiful your branches are. Fucking what? <laughs> Why did that do that at the end? I don't know. And I kind of watched the train. When I saw Oh, Danny Tree, I was like, oh, oh Danny Tree. Oh, Danny Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the translation trying to see what the uh, tip, the t there's like a tannin. Tannin bomb. Yeah, yeah that's, I wanted to see isn't that the German version? Tree? I guess. I wanted to see how that went, and it just fell apart. I mean, it got wild. Mm. All right. Ooh. So you want to do this next one? Do you want me to do the first one, and then you do the fun second one? Sure. The second ones were really out of Okay. So we picked some pretty classic songs. But the next song that we have is one that we hear on the radio often, and we actually like to torture our dad with it by singing it as whispery as possible. Um, <laughs> George Michaels, our Lord and Savior, <laughs> created, the, <laughs> created this song uh, last Christmas. I don't know if he was the first person to sing that. I don't know the history of it, but normally when it comes on the radio, we like, last Christmas. <laughs> we try to whisper it as grossly uh, into our dad's ear when he's near, and it 
makes him very upset. Uh, we always we always emphasize special because George Michaels is extra. He fucking does it up. And it's a good song. Uh, but just my dad does not uh, like whispering in general. He, yeah. So we just, you know, calling to it like kids. Yeah. Um, but That's kick crazy. it off, my dude. Let's go. <clears throat> Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. But the next day, you gave to me this year. <laughs> <laughs> Save me from tears. I'll give you something special. Well, that sounds like a fucking threat. It does. Shortly after the double bite of embarrassment, I set the distance, but you always saw me. Tell me, baby, didn't you? You know me. In fact, a year has passed. It doesn't surprise me. So wait, is what part of the song is that supposed to fucking be? So it can't that, be last Christmas. It's got to be the next stanza, right? I mean, it is the next stanza. So the first one repeats twice. In yeah. The song. So you got the. Last so I'm one. trying to remember the how the. Once bitten, twice shy. I keep my distance, but you still catch my eye. I think, and it's like, tell me, do you recognize me? Well, it's been a year or something. Okay, I'm. I am not sure how the rest of that song goes because. Okay. <laughs> um. Last. Shortly after the double bite of embarrassment, <laughs> <laughs> I set the distance, but you always saw me. Tell me, baby, oh, didn't God. you? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yes. <laughs> um. I I just made up for it with um. Oh. Weird voices. So those are actually all the songs that we have. We don't want to keep you guys too long because this is coming out on Christmas. We didn't want to take you guys away from any of your virtual Zoom calls or anything else you got going on. Uh, getting drunk in the bathtub. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, we just wanted to do something <laughs> a little cute and uh, just, you know, make a little something something if you guys like this idea that we're doing with songs we have no problem doing this with other just more famous songs and just Freedom. yeah we'll we will we will fuck their Venus. shit up matter of fact meet us in the parking lot we'll fuck you up right yeah we'll, we'll, we'll bring the ship you'll with fucking us. i'll hit you with the ship bring and the ship we'll and fucking the peg you <laughs> 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 we'll fucking peg your ass yeah, <laughs> because We're the gonna... being plunged into soon and <laughs> exhausted joy pour out of you. <laughs> I'm I'm telling you, I mean business. But here's your Christmas morning Christmas carols. You know what? We failed our people. Yeah, we didn't do. We saw some ships come sailing in. Christmas Day oh, on shit. Christmas Day. We don't have that was what, okay. So I have to make an addendum to this. One of the traditions for a little bit was once everybody in the house got a little bit older, it got to the point where mom and dad got up first for a while there. And at one point, dad thought it was a good idea to bang pots and pans and scream, sing, I saw three ships come sailing in no Christmas day, no Christmas day. I, <laughs> I saw three ships come sailing in no Christmas day. In the morning. And basically it started a really cool hate fest first thing in the morning and Christmas. He wore like this cover, <laughs> like he wore it like some sort of like chef hat thing. It is a chef hat. How dare you? And I think we would be woken up in July too. With the song yeah, it got to the like point. Yeah, thing. I feel like Dad was uh, an early troll before, like he knew yeah. what trolling was, kind of thing. Because what once you let people know, like, hey, I don't like that. They're like, hey, guess what? Uh, that was precursory. I get no sleep because of y'all. Y'all, you get sleep. That yeah, that's pretty much that. Yeah, that's amazing. My He's a genius. He's just ahead of his time. Way ahead of his time. Scary. Where was TikTok when we needed it? Where was Gondor when the West Fold fell? <laughs> what do you mean again? She made me inhale a huge sip of beer while we were talking on the phone. 
she dropped some of that Lord of the Rings shit. And I'm I, just saying. I, I just threw it's the good. phone to the ground and like fell to my knees. Maybe that's why your phone doesn't work because you were just fucking throwing it. I did throw it because I was dying because of you. Stupid bitch. I was like gag coughing on the floor on all fours. Mm. And my life was flashing before my eyes. Now I have beer lung. That doesn't <sighs> sound like a problem. That's just a new uh, Jethro Toll album. <laughs> Aqua lung. <laughs> Who says aqua like that? Aqua. Stupid. It's aqua. It's aqua. All right. So with that, we're gonna leave you guys to your holidays. Maybe we'll podcast where we count down for no reason. Yeah, we're talking about how we're gonna be the new us too. Ooh, baby. And how the next year is totally going to be. I'm going to cut off my legs and get new legs because I'm tired of legs from 2020. And value to the year. So all of a sudden, geopolitical issues will stop being shitty. Yeah, everything will change when the clock keeps ticking forward. <laughs> yes, we will go around the sun one more time. And Let's celebrate the never ending, <laughs> the never ending cycle of time. <laughs> and the wear of gravity on, on the organisms down below on Earth. <laughs> Ooh, <ouch. laughs> kind of painful. Uh, existence is pain. It is. That would, that would do it. But, all right, guys. You guys have a happy holiday, whatever it is you celebrate. Uh, I don't mean that in a bad way. I do. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Fucking bitch. <laughs> Okay, okay, stop, cut, no, we're not doing this. Malware!